Quarantine only started a few months ago, but by now it almost feels like a lifetime ago. The last day of school especially. If I had known that that was how we were going to end senior year, I would have said more than a few goodbyes. One thing that I think we all forget to do sometimes is just slow down, think, take a deep breath, and consider what really is valuable to us. It's so easy to get caught up in the constant rush of life, living from deadline to deadline. It's too easy to lose track of what you'll really remember. Living like this also makes it really easy to get annoyed by little things. Like this dumb green plastic lawnmower needing to be stopped so I can whip the cord around it. I mean, who thought that designing a lawnmower with a cord was a good idea? I know who bought it, though. It was my dad. He bought it. it was a, it's been a constant source of frustration and anger in my life during these warm green summer months. One time a few years ago, I almost destroyed it with a pickaxe. In hindsight, it wasn't a very good idea because then we wouldn't have no way to mow our lawn. Thankfully, I stopped myself from making a pickaxe-shaped dent in its stupid green chassis. See, if I had broken this thing of those years ago, I probably wouldn't be able to mow this lawn today. And where would I be then? Just a moron in a field? Making these kinds of decisions is key to understanding what shapes us. All the little decisions we make daily, what kind of coffee we drink, if we'll cut off that big truck when it passes us on the freeway, they can have long-term effects on not only our well-being, but our character. That brings me back to the whole coronavirus pandemic. If little actions like me not hitting my lawnmower have that big an impact, imagine what the world will look like in the next few years. Certain businesses are already going out of business, like movie theaters and um, like California wine. Luxuries that our parents were able to enjoy might just fall off as a result of this economic shakeup. It's hard to say whether that's a good or a bad thing, but when this pandemic officially ends, there's no doubt that the world is going to look different. Historically, there are actually two ways a pandemic like this can end. Medically, if the rates of infection plummet as a result of a new vaccine or something, or socially, when people stop being afraid of the illness and start leaving their homes without any kind of social stigma. Texas already reopened, and so did Georgia. Donald Trump actually criticized Georgia for reopening. He said it was too early. They opened anyway. Effects haven't immediately been felt yet, but it's too soon to really see what all of this means for Georgians. As for everyone else, the national unemployment rate has risen to 14.7%, highest it's been since the Great Depression. It's just... There's no clear way of knowing what comes next, for any of us, really. I've been keeping busy during these past few months by learning guitar. It's a fun instrument, and there's tons of helpful YouTube videos explaining how to play basically any song you can think of. Like, any song. Look it up, and there's some dude in a fedora explaining how to play it. It's funny too because I never played guitar before coronacation. Um, it was I think week two of the uh, coronacation when I went into my closet and I f just found it like laying there in the back of the closet and I just decided to start learning how to play. Um, I've been practicing basically an hour every day. It's kind of what's been keeping me sane these past couple months but I hope to be able to play songs well in the future another way that I've been passing the time during coronacation is by just going out in the woods and looking around um, it's currently spring almost summer it's been getting warmer but a lot of the, uh, you know, the trees are in just in full bloom and it's just, it's been gorgeous out. The 
there's this little spot, um, a few, like, like a half mile away from my house where you can, it's, you can walk there and if you look over it, there's just this gorgeous cranberry bog that you can just look over and it's really just a place, the place to be, absolutely, because you have like beautiful sky, beautiful trees, beautiful view, and yeah, it's just great to, place to be. Another way I've been staying sane is by doing yard work, like um, raking moss and twigs and leaves that are on the lawn. See, by raking these things, I'm able to get them off of the lawn, and that makes it easier to mow with my terrible lawnmower. Very early on in the uh, coronacation, I took it upon myself to cut down all the dead trees around our house, and there were a lot. So there they are in a uh, big old stack. Um, they were from just like all over the place, front yard, backyard, just tons and tons of dead trees that I had to cut down and what ended up happening was that cutting them down actually meant that there were way more twigs and just a ton more debris all over the lawn so after I was done taking care of the uh, bigger trees I had to go around and pick up all the tiny little twigs that were left behind and uh, I did this with a rake but then I also used my hands um, so after that, I raked the leaves out of our garden because, you know, it's summertime, uh, the plants are going to be in bloom very soon. So I went around with a rake and all that like brown dirt is, it was covered in leaves, like a thick carpet of leaves for at least like six months. So, um, I raked all that. It was, uh, it kind of sucked, but it was pretty good. Um, this is also, this is the other pile of, uh, branches of, uh, debris that I've been collecting over the past few months. Um, it's gotten pretty big. Uh, I can almost jump on it. It's, uh, yeah, pretty big. Over the winter... A small colony of ants or termites or some kind of bug uh, started eating at the logs that we keep for firewood. And I didn't really notice that this was going on until about a week ago when I just went in and I just obliterated it. This is the battlefield where I cut down all the dead trees. A lot of these trees were left over from a blizzard that happened several years ago but just strong winds and tons of snow just piled on and knocked a ton of trees over and we never really got around to cleaning it up until these last few months because now we just have all this time to go around and cut down dead trees and make the place look nice um so in a way coronacation was an opportunity to go out and do that uh my neighbor actually helped out with a chainsaw at cutting some of the thicker trunks but for the most part it was just me and a hacksaw and i just cut through wood for a couple hours every day something else i've been doing every day is running running is it helps me clear my mind uh, when I'm doing schoolwork, and I use it as kind of like a break in between that. And it's kind of the only thing that I've been doing consistently every single day is I just, at some point, usually between noon or three, I get out, I just, I run for half an hour, I get, come back, and then I eat a cliff bar. And that's kind of been what's been going on for the past two months. So there you have it. All in all, coronacation has been an opportunity to try new things and to get into some new routines. And in a lot of ways, I feel like I'm better off for 
having these opportunities. But in a lot of ways, it also kind of sucks because senior year just kind of got Thanos snapped. So, yeah, it's a mixed bag. Um, that is my Coronacation documentary. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and now here's some relaxing B-roll of me mowing my lawn. Thank you. <laughs>